Derek Bell is one of this country's leading experts on race, racism, and the law. In the 1960s, he worked as a lawyer with Thurgood Marshall and the NAACP to desegregate public schools in the Deep South. He was the first black tenured law professor at Harvard, where he spent more than 20 years before leaving in 1990 to protest the law school's failure to add a tenured black woman to its faculty. Bell is the author of several books on the struggle for racial justice in this country. His newest is Faces at the Bottom of the Well, The Permanence of Racism. Hello and welcome. Thank you very much, Marcia. Happy to be here. Why is racism so indestructible? One of the things I think is that we have mischaracterized it. We have misdiagnosed it, if you will. For years and years, we thought that racism was an aberration a defect on the American scene, one that was a holdover from slavery, one that we had the tools to correct through law, and one that there was a desire to correct. Um, and it's taken us a long time to recognize that that was a wrong diagnosis, that uh, racism is an important stabilizing uh, function, serves a, a stabilizing function in a society that is built on property. And in a society where a great many whites don't have any property to speak of, certainly don't have as much as those on the top, what this society has given them from the time of slavery to the present is a sense of property in their whiteness, that their skin color enables them to somehow identify uh, and live vicariously the lives of those on the top as also through the soap operas and the tabloids and the, and the hopes through the uh, lotteries, and to feel superior to blacks who, whatever their status, are deemed on, on the bottom.